What's going on guys, Waco from Revolution here with my friend Jean-Marie Chalet, the CEO of Louis Monet and, and actually owner of Louis Monet as well. And I want to talk to you guys about an amazing watch called the Astro Neuf. So this is a very cool watch that has a pillar construction and two arms coming out of it. One arm is bearing a tourbillon and going counterclockwise at a 10 minute revolution around the dial and the other arm is going clockwise at a 5 minute revolution around the dial. But each of those tourbillons are making their own revolution around their own axis every 60 seconds. That means that the arms cross each other 18 times an hour or 432 times a day. Um, Jean-Marie, I love this watch. It's so cool because it really is taking time telling to this state of emotional expression, this kind of kinetic sculpture. Tell us a little bit about this watch, sir. Uh, the idea was to push boundaries, like Louis Monet in his time, you know, we don't like uh, to repeat things and bring products to the market that are common. So we are looking for the exception, and here we are bringing a new technology, because it was never made before to have two tourbillons rotating at two different speeds, at two different heights. This is a world premiere, so the idea was to push technical boundaries. Brilliant. And now you have two models of a 40mm chronograph that you would like to show us, if I'm not mistaken. And they're called, the first one's called Time to Race. So I want to put, well, so back in the day in auto racing, you couldn't just paint your car any color you wanted. You were assigned a color based on your nationality. So red was for Italy, and I believe your wife is Italian, is that correct? Yes, that's right. Uh, uh, blue was for France, and then green was for uh, England. So perhaps in deference to Italy, as in deference to your wife, we're going to show the red one first. And so there you go. I'm going to put this watch over here on the stand. And Jean-Marie, please tell us a little bit about that. This is uh, the memories, the chronograph. Of course, a chronograph is very important for racing. And uh, it has been used here with a racing atmosphere. Uh, and actually, it is not a limited edition. It's a collection of unique pieces because you are able to pick up your lucky number and associate it with one of the three colors that I mentioned, uh, red, green racing, or blue. And if Wei, he wants number eight in green, I will never be able to get it. That's his own personal piece. Indeed. I can only, <laughs> I can only get number eight in blue or red. That's really cool, I love that concept. So it kind of can go on as long as people can find numbers that are, have not been taken yet. Yes. That's lovely. We go for one or two digits from number one to number 99. Uh, Oops, sir, we also feature here a uh, rubber strap, integrated rubber strap. And you can see the construction is very special because it has this uh, wow. dome of sapphire. That's a huge box crystal. Yeah, and it enables you to dive into the mechanism. It's really a fusion between the mechanism and uh, the case itself. And it is a lot of show. It's panoramic view. Before, this is the historical uh, historical memories you can see it is built in a traditional way and look at the difference with the new one it's really yeah I mean like the sapphire is almost occupying like a third of the case it's quite extraordinary and it also makes sense because you know this is a watch that has so much going on on the dial side so I'm going to put it back on the stand again because monster really likes the stand all right and we're going to show you do you want to use this? Yeah, sure, with pleasure. I'm going to activate it, but like check it out because the column wheel is on the front of the watch. Boom, there you go. And it starts to, to march around the dial, the seconds uh, hand indicator, and which is also loomed, which I love as well. So you can actually you know, start uh, timing something in the dark. <laughs> I love it. And this watch has something special, actually, the bezel. Yeah. It has two indications. On the inside, it has the tachymeter. Yes. And on the outside, the 60 seconds. Phenomenal. That's a really cool watch, man. Thank you. Yeah. And Thank let's you so go much. from uh, Time to Race to the Memories Spirit. I believe we have an example of that right here. So guys, this is the Memories Spirit, which is now in 40mm, correct? That's right. Well, actually, let me put it on my wrist first, because I just want to show you how wearable this watch is now. You have to imagine you have a state-of-the-art chronograph mechanism composed of more, more than 300 different components great size. Yes, and it has taken two years of efforts to reach this because from an engineering point of view, right. it was not easy to use this big chronograph movement and to put it in a, into a 40mm case. 
Tell me a little bit about the idea behind this size. I mean, I think that people have in general moved to a much more classic dimension, um, and obviously you responded to this. It's great to me at this size. It's so wearable. It's so like uh, easy to, to wear, you know, dressed up you know, in a sporty way. I love it. I love also that you created, you know, this is the same case as the, the Time to Race, so you've got this huge sapphire crystal that goes over the entire dial, and there's so much going on. There's so much visual richness with this watch, right? Okay, let's go from that to the Tempo Graph, which has a really cool 20-second retrograde indicator, and that's that watch right here. And so, Munster, what you need to do is stay there and watch the second 10 on the top in red, and we're going to see it jump back to zero when it hits 20. So tell us a little bit about this watch. Yeah, this is also uh, one of our specialty. It's a retrograde 20 second, and uh, it is something you will find nowhere else. It's typical Louis Moinet. Now, in a 40 mm, it really opens door to an entirely new market, if I may say, because it will attract uh, a lot of collectors, ladies. It's unisex. It's you know, it can be worn from. Uh, more more easily than a 46 millimeter case which uh, we are still using uh, because some people especially in the Middle East they like big watches but now we have plans to open up in Asia and uh, it was really needed to have uh, the right size which is very wearable which is very agreeable you have a, a titanium case which is only 18 uh, grams 18 grams for the titanium case and again you find this big domed crystal where you can see all the details from uh, the mechanism and here you see we have played with a special color electrum which is electrum is the color of uh, green gold for the back plate so it's a very subtle mix of colors genuinely great watch bravo sir merci beaucoup c'est très bon plaisir and there you go, guys. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Peace.